Well, it's Tuesday, trash day. Got my first cup of coffee. GoPro stop recording. Good morning. I wonder what the story is on that Cadillac. It's been sitting there for months. GoPro stopped recording. I almost went by these. Them things look. They're red wings. Oh, those will go. Don't even look like they've been hardly wore. Oh well. Never know what you're gonna find out here. How you doing? Walking your little baby? Huh? Yeah, I'm walking my baby. Yeah. He's some... old, he's 14 and he's blind. Yeah. Somebody stole my dog the other day. Hmm? Somebody stole my, I had a little Maltese and somebody stole her. Oh, that's terrible when they yeah. do things like that. Had her three years. Sure did. At least they treat her decent. That's my concern when they take an animal. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, they. It's my fault. I just left the gate open and she went out. And my daughter always told me if she gets out on that street, somebody will pick her up. Well, see, that's like him. I've got him chipped, but this kind of a dog is a runner. And if they get loose, they run. Yeah. You can't catch them. So we've got a fence in the front, and I just noticed that board and the fence in the back is broken. I'm going to have to see if I can fix that. Yeah. You got a chip in him? Yeah. Yeah, there's a chip in that one of ours. But, yeah, but that, if they stole her, they will they won't take her to the vet probably. Yeah, if he goes to a vet, the vet will scan it. Yeah. Well, let me get on my little <laughs> tour. Yeah, you're you on your tour and I take him for his walk and then I got to go get some work done. 
All right. Well, you have a good day. Oh, right, you live right here, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I thought I've seen you before. Yeah, I live with my daughter. My husband died seven years ago. And... Uh, my wife, my wife died 13 years ago. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, I live with my. Well, my daughter never left home, so we can't figure out who lives with who. You live together. <laughs> yeah, I sure do. I, with my three grandsons. Mm. Wouldn't have it no other way, well, though. That's it. I mean, it's good. You know, it's like she used to live in here alone, working two jobs so she wouldn't lose her house. When my husband died, I had a double wide down. Yeah. And uh, I wanted to stay, but I told him, I said, I'm going to try for a year and I'm going to figure out the, what it's costing me. And at the end of the year, I called him and I said, You put the place on the market and I got to get out of it what I can because I live on Social Security, you know? Yeah. And uh, my brother was upset at first, and I told him, I said, well, Paul, if I don't sell it now, and it runs down, I'm not going to get nothing out of it. Mm -hmm. So he understood, and yeah. I sold it, and I moved up here with her, which helped both of us. Yeah. And we, we get along good. She works. She works her butt off, that girl. Yeah. The daughters can be a pain in the butt sometimes, huh? <laughs> Oh, I'll tell you what. <laughs> well, we got along pretty good, but I made it uh, sure when I came up with her, I told her right out. I said, before I move in with you, I'm telling you one thing. You are not running my life. <laughs> there you go. There you go. She mine tries to run mine, but it don't work. I ain't sitting at home. Sitting at home is the worst thing you can do yeah. at your age. You know? Yeah, I just, I, I, I go the whole, I go all the way down to the other uh, 36. Yeah. And then I come back, I go across the back way and go over to Publix and um, I'll pick up cans. If I see, I figure it this way, the cans are not worth that much, but if I'm going by it and it's laying there, yeah. I'm picking it up and sooner or later I'll sell them. Yeah. And uh, I pick up trash too, you know, I, I, uh, occasionally I'll see trash laying around in somebody's curb or something and I'll grab that and put it in the trash but it's just something to do well that's it. I go to exercise classes three times a week because I've got a lung problem and a leg problem yeah and the doctor told me he said it's necessary if you want to keep moving so I do it there's a lot of times I don't feel like going but I always feel better when I come home mm -hmm. you know how old are you 85 oh lord I, you're I, I'm just a baby then I'm 78 oh. <laughs> Well, you gotta keep moving. If you don't yeah. keep moving, yeah. I worked in nursing homes years ago, and I found the people that just wanted to sit and do nothing. That's no good because, for one thing, your blood don't circulate. Mm -hmm. We used to put them in rocking chairs and make them rock because that pumps the blood, you know. Yeah. And if you can't do anything else, that's a good thing to do. But uh, those that were willing to try and, and try to exercise and stuff yeah. like that, they did a lot better. Well, my name's Russell. What's yours? K. K? Mm -hmm. And I live right down here and right beside the blue water tanks. Oh, yeah. So, well, I get around. Nice meeting you, Russell. Yeah. All right. I don't really know many people in the neighborhood here, one or two. Well, I'm, I'm, I try to meet everybody I can, especially if I see them out. And I've met quite a few people. And well, that's good. That's how I've met the ones I know is by walking the dog, you know, and them stopping to talk to me. You know? Yeah, there's one lady that I see walking here. I think she walks down this street. And I think she told me she was 81. And But she said she was ready to die. She said that she wished she would just go ahead and die. Said I had a good life and I've done everything I want to do and, and I'm tired. And I hate to see her say that. Yeah, I do too. I, uh, I don't want to die. I go kayaking. I love to go kayaking. I can't go very often because I, I can't afford it. You yeah. Know? But uh, I do like to go kayaking, and I do do that. Mm. Okay, Kay. Nice meeting you, dear. Nice meeting you too, Rose. I'll see you day. again. Oh, it's a stuffed animal. Leave that. Well, what is it? What is it? Nothing. 
nothing. And to think I used to get, I used to get 15, 20 cans out of there twice a week and they quit drinking. Up. Uh, am I recording? Yes. All right. I don't know if that'll be brass or not. Uh, what is this? That's something like microscope. And there's... I hear an owl. I hear a hoot owl. Hard rhythm. Say a ten. A million... Resolution. You know, I keep, I keep saying I'm gonna bring bags, and so when I find cans like in that, there's can, I can't rip the bag. I can rip the bags open, but it wouldn't be nice. So. Are we recording? Yeah. I have got to get that remote to work on this thing. Mr. U-Haul. Oh, uh, the mornings are cool now. I mean, actually for me, this is the perfect temperature for me. But now, just a little bit colder and it'd be too cool. But right now, this is perfect. It's almost like you can feel fall in the air. Well, if I don't find anything else. Today's been perfect because I met another neighbor. Her name is Kay. She's 85. And she goes kayaking not as much as she wants because she can't afford it, she says. But at her age, and she's going kayaking, I can't go kayaking. I don't know what that is. Feels like styrofoam. Let me see. These mirrors do not stay adjusted. I'm gonna have to work on this. There's another 
Holy cow. I'm gonna have to run down there and look at them shoes. Well. Now what's, what is the deal with these? Excellent condition. And what's the brand name? I don't know if that's the brand name or not, but I'll put them right there. Dang. Now why would the shoes, who knows? Who knows? Well, there is a pile of egrets up there. Look like there might be 30 or 40. Somebody got a swimming pool. A little late in the year to be getting one of them portable pools. Nothing. There's another batch of egress eating them bugs and having their morning breakfast. Having their breakfast. I think they call them cattle egrets. Okay. I'll go down here a little bit. There's a pretty Siamese cat. Right over there. And there's something kind of looks like a Maine Coon, but it's too small. Pretty cat though. Pretty cat. Yeah, I think I'm peeing up a tree. I 
see some more egrets up there. Not a big bunch of them, but some. Yeah, I'm not gonna go, well, nah. Well, let's just see. I don't see nothing that looks interesting. There ain't crap down here. There ain't crap down here. Oh, yeah. What is that? It's made out of bamboo, whatever it is. Huh. I don't know. Um. Well. Look how that is just laid around. Well, somebody has took that TV apart. Well, I can get them, I can get them boards off of there. They done got it opened up. So, yeah, that, that's, uh, That's pretty, pretty neat. Already got the goodies loose. Don't tell me I ain't gonna be able to get that. That's got gold on it. I wish I could get that. It's got a, That's the lesser of the boards, though. I 
got the main part. I got the main part. I expect the TV quit working. And they decided they might look into it. See if they can figure out what was wrong with it. I'm gonna give these shoes to my lady friend. Hey there. How's it going? Hey. Eh, nice. Not much out there this morning, but those are nice. These shoes. Thank they, you. Those was laying on the side of the road. Those are really nice. Thank these you. are sitting on top of somebody. Look at these. These are red wings too. He could wear these to church. But Thank you so much. I are appreciate you it. Oh, those are heavy. Yeah. Dang. Yep, my I'm having a yard sale this weekend. Hmm? I'm having a yard sale this weekend. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah I noticed your neighbors down here, was yeah. down there had one. I know, that's when I should have did it, but I've been watching these kids. I'm burnt out. Yeah. Well, that's easy to do. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, there's not much out there today. You doing good? You look like you're losing some weight. Is that, you trying to lose I weight? I hope I am. You trying to? I need, I need to lose about 40 pounds. Me too. Boy, I tell they put you. me on this uh, thyroid medicine because yeah. I, I have a, well, remember when you seen me the last year, I yeah. was real small. Well, they put me on this medicine, I gained 60 pounds in three months. Holy crap. <laughs> That's a lot. Yeah. That so is a lot. I'm trying to get, I don't want to, I was 117, which is too small for how tall I am. Yeah. But, ugh, there's got to be a middle. Yeah, it, um... One extreme to the other. I wish I could get back down to 180, but that ain't gonna happen. I ain't been 180 in years and years. Well, that's what I had. That's... I went from 117 to 180. That's a lot. Yes, it is. So I got back down to 166 is where I'm at now. So I need to at least lose another 20. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm working on it, huh? I got. They keep bringing stuff in the house that I don't need, and they're coming there and hand like uh, apple fritters. Yeah. Oh, that's my favorite. She'll go get them things, and she'll come in there and hand me one. I don't even want to know what's in the house. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm diabetic, yeah. so I darn sure don't need to be eating them. Yeah, that's my favorite. But I love them. 
All right, I'm going to the house. All right, be safe. I'll see you this weekend. Yes, sir. I'll be set up Friday. All right. After I get back from school. I need to get them pictures down here to you. I've got, I keep saying I'm going to bring them, but uh, I had not done it yet. All right. But I'll get it done. All right. All right, dear, have a good one. What's up, man? Uh, bringing my son to the bus stop. We're late. Yeah. Hey, uh, I picked up a compressor for an air conditioner on the car. It's brand spanking new. Wow. How do you, uh, how much is something like that? I, I hate to scrap it. Because it's, it's brand new. And what? how would I find out what it's for? And Bring it up to AutoZone. Naked telling? Yep. I wonder what them things cost new. Oh, they're, uh, they're uh, around uh, $175. Yeah, I hate to scratch it. it. It's brand new. Never been on the, never been on the car or nothing. Wow. I got to get Jordan to the bus stop. All right, buddy. Have a good one. You too. I'll see you later. Holy crap. GoPro. Yeah, it's recording. <laughs> ah. The only reason I'm getting that steel right there is because I got this fella that comes around on the first now and uh, picks up the scrap. That's aluminum. Uh, steel and since I'm this close to the house I will that's a hacksaw boy that's a bottle rocket
almost ought to take the bucket. That's good grinding wheel there. That's for seating valves, I think. Look at that. I would almost just take the bucket. I don't know what that is. That's an engraver. I would almost take the bucket. That's a lemon, that's a compass. That's part of that lug wrench. Electric cord. You know what, there's... Socket. Well, dang. More sockets. More sockets. Holy crap. Some of them's decent looking sockets, too. That'll go. That's a lid. Another socket. Another socket. Another socket. You know what? There's something about going through stuff like this. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a treasure hunt. Some kind of wrench. 
in. That's the plug that can go in my plug thing. Now, Well, there's more metal in there, but I don't have nothing to put it in. Uh, I guess that's all the goodies. Well, it's not bad. Right down the street from the house. Thank you very much, neighbor. GoPro, stop recording.